Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Freddy of Freddy's Farm. So today we're going to talk about five natural ways to get rid of grasshoppers and low cost. By the way, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so that whenever we have new videos, you're always updated. All right, so there are five natural ways that you can use to get rid of this. First, you can do a, a garlic spray, right? So garlic odor can help deter grasshoppers and other common garden pests. To make the garlic spray, simply blend two bulbs of garlic with 10 cups of water, then heat up the mixture until it starts to boil. And then let the mixture sit overnight. And then, to use the garlic spray, just fill a spray bottle with one part garlic solution and three part water. Once ready, spray the solution onto the leaves of affected plants. And be sure to spray the undersides also of the leaves. Okay, so that now everything is covered. The second uh, solution would be to use all-purpose flour. Okay. Why all-purpose flour? Because flour can cause grasshoppers to starve by gumming up their mouth. So once there is flour ready in their mouth, they're unable to eat. So get some ordinary all-purpose all flour and sprinkle a thin layer on the leaves of your affected plants. All right? So this could be an effective way to uh, kill naturally your locos and your grasshoppers because they will be starved to death. Number three, introduce natural vehicles like birds. Okay, So a long-term solution is to attract natural grasshopper predators to your garden. For example, many species of birds such as swallows like to feast on grasshoppers. To attract these birds, you may want to set up a bird bath or a feeder in your backyard. Okay, So that would be one way to control the population of locusts and uh, grasshoppers. You could also consider introducing beneficial insects such as praying mantis to your garden or to your farm. All right, so this could be another very good solution to, to this menace, okay? And the fourth would be set up a long grass trap. Why grass? Because, you know, grasshoppers, you know, love to stay on, you know, grassy areas. So grasshoppers prefer areas with long grass. You could try and isolate the grasshoppers to one area of, the, to, of your garden or your farm by growing a patch of uncut grass in an isolated corner. So this could make it easier to catch and get rid of grasshoppers. Okay, so when they're concentrated in one area, it would be very easy to, you know, to catch them. And lastly, of course, uh, ratio on chickens or guinea fowls, and even ducks and geese. Okay, so this obviously will not work for everybody, but chickens and guinea fowls do a great job of eating grasshoppers and other common garden pests. So if you're having a problem feeding your animals, you know, bring them to an area where there is a, you know, infestation of grasshoppers. So these birds can also help control other common pests in the backyard like ants and cockroaches. Insects, as long as they haven't been exposed to toxic pesticides. So this is one consideration eh? because otherwise it will kill all your, your animals. They are a very good source of food for these backyard birds as they are a strong source of protein, right? So these are the five uh, natural remedies for locusts and grasshoppers that are now infesting, infesting our 
farms in in Kenya right now. So again, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to to subscribe and click the notification bell. By the way, give me feedback with regards to how these five natural remedies, you know, uh, perform in in your farm. Okay. Um, there are other concoctions that I could uh, re uh, recommend. I'll put the link below so in the description uh, section so that now you can follow the link and then you can formulate other insect and pest repellent concoctions, okay? So that's it for today. Um, all the best in your farming uh, activities and, you know, don't forget also to pray, you know, to the, may God bless us all.